Hey guys, it's Josh. I'm back again with some row company and we're going to be talking about how to create these thumbnails. Now I did have somebody, uh, mentioned to me, Josh, you're using these canvas skills. These are sick. Actually, these are Photoshop skills, but my challenge for today is to help you guys for the ones that are making row company apex, any type of content on YouTube. Uh, this was more specific to row company, but it's going to be row company thumbnail challenge on Canva. So I'm going to show you guys how this is done. Obviously I have a lot of cool content that I create personally. Uh, I just like to be creative. I know it's nothing top notch. Please be easy on the comments guys. But again, I told you guys, I am a marketer. Uh, this is what I do for a living, but I do love to teach and I love the game. That's the whole point right here, baby. But let's just get the video intro rolling. I'll catch you guys on the other side and then let's get to business while I go through this. So I'll catch you guys there. Welcome to Canva, which is a platform used to create content, uh, graphics. They're now doing video roles, which is pretty sick, guys. Um, I'll take you guys here once we get to the next level on the marketing stuff or the gaming stuff, guys. I'm not going to go into like technicality and all the marketing stuff that I do with my clients, but more for you guys, like the streamers, content creators. I'll show you guys how this is all done. So um, again, Canva, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any money from them but it's an easy platform for you guys to use if you guys don't have Photoshop. I know there's other like providers out there that are free that are just as good as Photoshop, but I wanna make this super and easy for you guys to do and accomplish right on Canva, baby, right on Canva. So to sign up, we're gonna go on the sign up button. We're gonna sign up in our Google. I'm gonna fill this information out. I'll catch you guys on the flip side because I can't show you this information, but once we do, we'll go into Canva and talk about the details. All right, guys, now I'm inside of Canva. I fill out the information. They make it very easy. If you guys have a Gmail account, you just hook it up. Bam, you don't need to create like a login information. You can just log in directly from your Gmail account, which is really easy. A lot of providers are doing that now, which I like. So again, welcome home, Josh. Thank you. Let's take a look. So I already know how to do this, uh, but let's go through this section here. Again, guys, uh, let me just click this out because I already know how to use this platform. Um, again, I use this platform um, only when I need to, uh, but for people that don't have, uh, let's say they're using PowerPoint or they're using some platforms that are not user-friendly, definitely try out Canva, it's free guys. So they give you all the dimensions of different things that you guys can use, but what I'm gonna do, we're talking about YouTube thumbnail for Row Company. Let's do that. So let's go here. So when we go into YouTube thumbnail, there's a lot of thumbnails here, right? We can go through all this stuff here. We can do um, any type of dimensions that we like, uh, any type of layout, uh, but I'll make it very super easy for you guys. So the cool thing about all these templates is that you guys can grab one thing from another. Uh, and this is something I'll probably teach in another video, but pretty much I can get something from this video, uh, I mean template, and then use something from this template and so forth. The beauty of being creative and graphic designing, and I'm not no graphic expert guys, I'm not, but it's the ability to see things differently. What can I do to grab something from this one and implement it here and create something that fits your brand, right? Because branding is key. Uh, creating content is key. Uh, making sure you guys stay with your color palettes is key. Uh, just so when they see it on that right hand side, um, when they're seeing your content uh, like this, you know, mine's all over the place. But if you see the upper right hand corner, you see my logo, I put like a little bar at the edges. Uh, for me, it's there's a style, right? So you wanna create a style. You don't have to stay to it all the time. You could always test new things. That is the beauty of all this, is creating a style that you guys will like. But now let's go back to Canva and let me show you guys how this is done. So what I'm gonna do is first pick out a template that I like. Again, I can change it up. I can switch it around, whatever I wanna do, but I'm gonna just pick one that I say is pretty good. And again, guys, these are templates that you guys can use and switch out. So let's see what's a good one here. I kind of like them all, actually. The one thing you, want, you always want to focus on is having um, kind of like the text appear really well. So I'll make this super easy. Let's do let's do this one because I like the text, the bottom text. 
I'll make this very clean, right? I'm not gonna layer crap on this at all. So we have this, right? Um, you know, you're, you're gonna look for images online. You know, you're like, Josh, okay, how do I get a background? Well, guys, it's super easy. You go to Rogue Company, you're gonna do a search for this. Go to images. Uh, you can grab images from here, guys, but one cool, helpful tip that will help you guys create cool content is there's this place called ArtStation. And ArtStation is a platform similar to like, um, it's like Instagram, Facebook, but for artists. Uh, companies use this. Um, I've worked with clients that use this. And um, high res has this. So if I do a search for, bypass that. If I do search for Rogue Company, you're gonna see content for this. And this is where you get some beautiful imagery. Again, disregard. Let me do a search. There we go. So I went to artists. I see the content here. This is where you get the imagery, right? Some beautiful images. So let's say I want this one, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image. I wonder if I could copy it and place it on this piece right now. So let me delete that. Let me place this. Can I? Yes, sir. So I just copied, uh, obviously control C and then control V to paste. I'm going to move this sucker way wide because I don't want to see the text at the bottom. Close that bad boy. I'm going to say Anvil because people like talk, don't, people don't want to talk about Anvil for some reason. I guess Anvil is like a character nobody likes talking about. So let me do Anvil. Strong OP gameplay because everybody likes OP. I'm using it so much on my content. All right, so I'm switching it around. So you see how I'm playing with this, guys? Um, I'm moving it around, the text and whatnot. Make sure it's sized up really well. So you have the text and it's three stack. Main title and then the text at the bottom, but I actually wanna make this longer. I could do it like this. Or, mm, again, it's your preference, guys. Nothing is wrong here. Don't worry, guys. Um, but let me test it this way. All right, so what I'm t clicking up here is the alignment, right? So it goes either left, right, centered. So I'm gonna do it uh, left centered here, but we'll just obviously do this for tutorial purposes. So let me make this text visible. So when I go to the color palettes, you click on this right here, right? You go here, I'm gonna do this yellow to give it a little bit more of a pop, pop, pop. All right, so let me see if I could do some effects. I could definitely give it a shadow, do some cool stuff, guys. Like, again, you can do a lot here. And I wouldn't do yellow. I would make this probably a black. Or even, again, you're just playing with this, guys. Let's just do black for tutorial purposes. All right, so I have a pretty cool design here. Um. Can I make this big? I can make it bigger. So instead of 170, let's make it 185. All right. Okay, so let's do that. Now I have my text, right? Pretty cool, self-explanatory guys. Again, nothing too intense. We'll try to make this super easy and cool for you guys. So you're gonna ask Josh, um, I get that you're doing the Anvil Strong OP gameplay, but how do I get an Anvil cutout? Tip number two, guys. Tip number two. So, I'm going to Rogue Company, I'm on their website. If you guys have Google Chrome, I'm not sure about Firefox or the other guys, you need to download the app called Image Downloader. Image Downloader is an app that will pull all the images from a website and make them into a PNG. So, what do we need here? Well, we do need an Anvil. I just download that baby. And I do need that logo because I need to brand it. Bam. So now I got two, right? So watch what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go back to my other screen here. Now I need the images, right? So let's go to uploads, upload media, device, downloads. Bam, baby, I got the anvil and the logo. Let's do those two. How cool is that, guys? 
for the people that can't cut them out you don't have the platform get the image downloader guys and it doesn't work all the time on all the images guys on the ones that are png on the website it comes out clean baby just like this bam look at that guys look at that beautiful design on canva guys on canva look at that now we want to brand this bad boy because we're making videos i'm doing videos for you know cyberpunk apex well let's just drag this bad boy now if i drag it it might mess it up oh no it, it doesn't cool all right so let me actually fix this here let me drag it so i don't see the text at the bottom there we go baby there we go now if i want to make this a little darker i definitely can and i'm gonna show you guys how so what i mean is a background image right here this guy this bad boy but let me uh let me mess with this real quick i guess i guess i can't can't i all right let me do something all right so let's go to let me do something real quick i think it's not letting me right now but let me actually duplicate this real quick and then let me mess with it real fast do this okay so i can't move it around can i done okay so let me go to adjust filter effects no i guess it's not allowing me to do it right now because i just placed it but what you can do to make this um, image darker and let me make him bigger now remember guys the reason why i did a duplicate is because i can mess with this one so my main one stays as is so it kind of protects you guys but uh let me delete this but pretty much i have a thumbnail now you're gonna say josh um i kind of don't like it i want to add something to it to give it a little bit more of a pop well don't worry let me duplicate this and then let me go up top let me find something that can maybe make it pop this bad boy so remember told you guys that i can actually grab elements from other templates and implement it well watch what i'm about to do copy i'm gonna paste it on this bad boy now it's on top like what the hell josh it's like on top like but it's a cake so all i gotta do is go to the it's the um it's a positioning one. Oh, there we go let me pull it backward backward fire on baby so then the color it might not fit you guys don't worry guys don't need to get angry i can make it darker and let me do one more thing bam baby now not my preference but it's a start right it's a start the beauty of this is that you guys can get creative pull elements from other images implement them on here and bam you guys got your content the one thing i will say guys is make sure that your um your give me one second i'm trying to get my pen here can i draw sweet uh make sure you guys put the content in this section because the play title usually covers a good portion and then you can maybe put your logo up here or just make sure it's visible uh you know try to keep it up here if not up there then try to move it here and put an image here but you see what i'm doing here like i layered it and i got anvil and i can adjust anvil as i please move on make sure you don't put them like this because it looks like he's obviously cut from the bottom but just make them bigger by just making the image wider you know what i mean you see what i mean i can make them mini anvil watch the flanks so yeah you guys get the point um so you guys have the design you're like josh uh what do i do let me actually remove my um my camera real quick so you guys see it it looks clean i pulled an element from there we have it ready to go you're gonna say josh how do i download this how do i get this bad boy go to download png download that puppy and uh we should be good to go let's uh yeah that's it we should be uh good uh to go because it did both of the uh images just do one of them you could just click which one you want 
image two. Let me pop it. I am, baby. I have a YouTube thumbnail for Rogue Company. That's how easy it is to make, guys. If you guys are having a hard time on creating this content or any YouTube thumbnails, use Canva, guys. I will go to Photoshop. Uh, don't worry, guys. I will talk about OBS. I will talk about streaming. I will talk about marketing. Don't worry. That's something that's on my arsenal on the side. But uh, yeah, hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you guys like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Thank you.